the Shinito mural created by pre-K, kindergartners, and fifth grade students in collaboration with the Deborah Lerner Gross Jewish Cultural Art Center in honor of the birth of Devorah Mindel Goldberg, daughter of Sarah Gross and Adav Goldberg, with artist Amanda Perlin. My name is Sarah Antine, director of the Deborah Lerner Gross Jewish Cultural Art Center. I worked with pre-K and kindergartners to create Shemitah poems based on the mural that they created. I'd like to read one. This is the pre-K students, Mora, Mickey, and Mora Alana's class. A resting field is like a resting child. The earth of the field must rest like we rest. I am the lava under the mud. I am the grass on top of the dirt. The field has to go to sleep and dream. I dream of yellow corn like yellow blonde hair, the green corn husks like shirts, the tomatoes like so many heads, white flowers are like the candles on a Shabbos table, the grass is like a mohawk sprouting out of the ground, the tomatoes can be bowling balls knocking down the tall grass, purple grapes, blueberries are the eyes looking around, spirals grow like snakes, worms. The cotton grows like clouds, fluffs down like snow. I dream about a tree that grows circles of snow, that grows a star, that grows diamonds, that grows a heart. I'd like to just read one stanza, an excerpt from a kindergarten from Mrs. Moralea's class. It's time to wake up the field. To pull the weeds will wake the field. Sticks and rain will tap the field to wake it up. Hail will wake the field. Roosters, crickets wake the field. Butterflies tickling, squirming worms wake the field, digging tunnels to find food. Flowers, trees, bushes, and strawberries stretch. Maura Reese's kindergarten class wrote this as their last line, and I feel like it sums up the whole mural project. The field sings the song of the sleeping tractor. we made our grapefruit yeah. and we opened it up and we talked about oh, the seeds inside. We're it. Yeah. Right? So I have a little song. I have a little song that goes with this. It goes like dipping and dabbing. <laughs> this technique is called scruffito. Scruffito. It's not writing, it's just carving away. I do. See how I'm taking and I'm turning my circle? And I, and I brush it from the center out. From the center. Dab it. Okay. Dip, 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 dip. Dip. Guys, you have to do the dab it. Well, I'm thinking, why don't we, like, if, we, if you sort of use this size as a, as a, as something that's getting dirty, right? So the first step is trace with a pencil around the paper pattern and every detail of the drawing. Okay. Next is number two, cut around your pattern with a stylus to remove the extra clay.
number three, smooth the edges of the tile. So at this point, you take off your pattern. And number four, use a pencil to lightly carve your design into the clay. So now as we come back to this tool, this is only a cutting tool. 